budgets, uh, the cuts, to be honest with you, our council taxes more or less remain the same. And I haven't noticed any cuts that are affecting me directly or my family at the moment. Um, but I have noticed other areas where our expenditure has gone up enormously. I mean, the first one and the most obvious is the shopping bill. Uh, a year ago, £100 probably covered it quite easily. And I'm talking the double nappies, double wet wipes, you know. Uh, but this year, it's definitely 130. There's 30 quid extra every week. Um, maybe more sometimes, you know, depends on how frugal I'm being. Uh, also, uh, heating bills. Just had a heating bill come in, uh, which we usually cover with a direct debit. But um, apparently our direct debit's not covering it at the moment, so that's going to be upped. Initially they said to £118 from £39 a month, which was whew, uh, an enormous leap. But I have read our meter since, and I forgot to send in meter readings, and therefore they've estimated it, and thank God they are well over uh, by about 300 units. So hopefully that won't be as dramatic as it was... Uh, you know, threatening to be. Uh, petrol, that's another thing that's gone up. Uh, you probably this time last year I was 45 quid getting a full tank, now it's 60. Um, consequently, I have started driving slower. I'm trying to use less petrol. Um, as for other cuts, I can't really say at the moment. Our council tax, as I said earlier, is the same. Sure, start centres are still open. Um, I haven't really noticed much else. The potholes at the end of the winter, they were all sorted out. Um, which I didn't think they would be, but they have been. So I'm wondering if it's going to be a delayed cost. I'm wondering if maybe it's something we'll feel, you know, six months down the line, all of a sudden there'll be extra hidden costs and things that were there previously won't be um, but so far so good I mean one thing that I am very very worried about is Britain's debt which I don't know how many trillions it's run into at the moment um, but I did read in the newspaper the other day I've got the article here 2.1 trillion bad news household debt is set to soar that is nearly 34,000 for every man woman and child in the UK um, I find that disgusting and you know running a house and a home you do have to keep an eye on your budget you can't go silly and in all those good years it does make me wonder what the hell Labour were up to how did we manage to get into such an enormous I don't know I hate debt I if somebody buys a ticket for me I'm the first one to pay it back immediately I do not want debts hanging around my neck so luckily we've got mortgage but we don't owe big loans we don't owe people anything we don't you know no catalogs no credit cards it all gets paid off pretty much as we go along and and that seems to work very well um, it allows me to sleep better at night. I'm certainly not jumping up and putting my hand up to pay off every other country's enormous debt. I mean, I don't mind helping our island, they're our cousins, they're across the water. But, you know, if we have to start stepping in and saving every company, every country, sorry, that's bailing out, then uh, we're not going to do it, are we? And that 34,000 that's quoted at the moment for, for every person is going to go up enormously and, and I don't think we can afford to do that. I think we've got to start at home, as we all do, um, and start paying off that debt and getting to a point where we can actually breathe and take life a bit easier.